Welcome back, this is Bowler Scooper with more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 2. I'm joined as always by my leveled up squad of Zebulon, Asher, and Dinah. When we last left off, I was a little bit lower level. I have done a little bit of level grinding. I tried not to do too much. We're up to level 40 on my main party. Dinah is not really all that great for this level. I have switched the characters around a bit. We now have Jin on the Zebulon and Chaos on the Asher. It helps me do a little bit more damage, but really it's the defensive part of this that, that worries me. When we last left off, I was struggling here in the desert, uh, but we have already cleared this screen out of everything that we need, so let's just go ahead and continue on to the next screen. Uh, the sandworms here still have an attack that can do around 10,000 damage to my entire party, so... Hopefully they don't do that too often. Shouldn't be anything in the movies. There isn't. All right. Destroy the crap out of these. And that opens up a path for us through the rock. Because apparently that was a weak part of the rock. We have scanners for this kind of thing. Right? But let's just continue on. What we need to do is destroy this on the left. It doesn't give us anything, but it was in our way, and that's more important than getting in our way. Destroying the things in the way, of course. So let's head over here, destroy this, get ourselves Nano Repair A. We will continue on and fight a new enemy. Looks like we got a dragon-looking thing today. Hey, I split it. Very nice but they get to go first. They've got Aura Blast. Well, that's fine. You can do that all damn day, and I won't even bat an eye out of that. Feel free to do that. All right, these are Ashmed Bapuzes. I have no idea what that is. That's probably some Islamic demon. Something like that. Uh, we will try a physical attack. They don't look like they're too bulky. That did not do that great at all. Let's try distance attack. There we go. Much better. Still doing not nearly as much as I would like. Ether spear. Oh, he's increasing his ether power. Now, Zebulon was actually very good damaging the sandworms. I know I didn't really get a chance to show that off, but that was that was weird. Zebulon was actually doing more damage than the Asher on that one. Yeah, you, you guys can do that all day. I won't even bat an eye about it. Not feel bad in the slightest. We're going to just continue doing it all day. Can you finish it off? Oh, that was so close. So close. I'm gonna boost it. Just so I can finish this guy off and he doesn't get a turn. Down you go. And we're very close to being able to use some of our specials here. I know I haven't gotten a chance to show off uh, this next one from the from the Asher. So I'm looking forward to that one. We still need one more attack though. Get that down. And then we'll go ahead and boost. Hopefully, this will do a lot of damage. I'm not sure it'll do nearly as much damage in here, but it, it does a hell of a lot of damage against the worms. We're gonna do Ice Storm. Ice Storm. Yeah, not nearly as much as I was hoping for. That is not so good. We will have to rearrange the party again to be more effective. Holy crap, you actually got a good move on me. That was not bad. But I'm gonna finish you off, so whatever. Down you go. Sixty-four hundred experience, even more than what we were getting outside. Yeah, I'll we'll probably have to change things around here a bit. Shouldn't be too difficult, really. Hold on while I take care of that. Should be good to go. The main thing is that I have Shion in the ash right now. Should be a lot better for us. We can continue to destroy objects in our way. I don't believe that either one of them holds anything, but damn it, they are in our way. Into the next room we go. Now we are in a cave though, so it's an entirely different thing. What's going on in here? In here, 
we can find more things to destroy. It, it doesn't take long, and it gives me a little bit of satisfaction at the end. Plus, it makes my, my controller run, which is always good. In here, though, we can get a G-Stun Guard. Not that I will be using too much of that. I do have the Asher and the Zebulon both equipped with the G-Poison Guard now, because poison is terrible in this game. It is rough when you got it. Well, on the ESs. We got it on the uh, characters. It's not too bad. But, uh... On the ESs. It's pretty bad. But what we need to do is that backtrack here. And we need to actually make a left at the fork. Here. And then we can continue on. Now here, we have something shiny. Always push the button. Ne Why would you not push the button? And that allows us to go other places. So let's destroy everything here and see where this takes us. How about that, there is a nano repair Z. So once again, always destroy the objects. What could go wrong other than, you know, a fight? But what we need to do is continue. Like I said, we are still trying to get our way through the cave here. That starting to remind me of Zeo Gears. There was a cave there. This is reminding me of. And we get a nano repair A out of that. Let me just continue on and get more of these guys. More of you, as always. Let's continue on and try to figure out what the hell's going on around here. There's more objects to destroy, so of course we are going to destroy them. In here we can get ourselves an atmosphere. Very nice. We'll just ignore the rest of this for the time being and head down because this will actually help us finish off the previous room. Any guesses where we spawn here? I think it's actually kind of obvious. We're going to be in the middle path. And now we can head down and take the other forks to the other areas around here. Another nanosphere. They are really giving you the healing items here. You know how tough it is around here. We're going to head over to the right first. Because there's a treasure chest here and also the same enemy. One enemy allowed per screen. What was he guarding back here? We got ourselves a G Poison EP guard. Not that I think that's going to be all that important. Poison EP in the ESs that really can only go on Zebulon and I'm trying to think if anything uses it. Nothing comes to mind at the moment but that, that doesn't mean that nobody knows it. Either. More dragons once again just the one enemy here. Let's see what that guy was guarding down here. Over here we can get ourselves another nanosphere. Very useful not using them though. I, I found a strategy to heal and get it all back. Basically, I just always stock with a Zebulon and, and then unleash uh, Ice Rondo, as it turns out, which I do believe means chaos is on the Zebulon these days. But now we can get this treasure chest that has been apparent to me for some time. And in here we can get the power shield. So we are done. Let's head back in and fight the same dragon again. Because you know it's going to respawn. There it is! How you doing, buddy? Long time no see. Where do you come from? Really? That's probably something I should be asking. Let's continue backtracking. We pretty much need to go back into the northern room from here. Thanks to our spinning bridge, which doesn't quite make sense. What's going on around here? Why is there a cave in the middle of the desert? Why was it sealed off with solid rock? without cracks in it. Either way, we're, we're moving on. I overthink things yet again. This time, we're going to take another path at the three-way fork. There always seems to be three ways in here. I'm not entirely sure why. But we can find yet another dragon up here. Okay, let's try that. Also, I can fight this guy. Let's see what this guy was guarding. Anything in this box? Probably not. Oh, there it is, actually. Here we can find Nano Repair Z. Very nice. But 
what I really wanted was on the other side. So let's head in here, start destroying objects on this side. And here we can get ourselves a G bind guard. Now I won't be bound. Once again, not entirely sure how often that happens. One of the problems with this game is that it has so many status effects that you almost don't need to worry about them because they're so rare. Only one enemy seems to use it in the game, and then you're done. Let's backtrack again and not worry about G bind probably for the rest of the game. But we are going to head over to the right from this fork now, where we can get ourselves yet another Nano Repair Z's. They think you need to heal around here. And really, they're not wrong. I do need to heal, just I have a better way of healing. Which is why I have the Zebulon always with me. It is far more effective than using items, in my opinion. Not too hard to manage that. Plus then I can save the items for... Thing. But also for selling. You're damn right I'm gonna use this. <laughs> Those of you that know, know why I'm going to use this. I'm scared, but I think I am ready to go. Before we go, though, there is something that I definitely want to point out, and that's kind of my setup here. I got Momo and Chaos in the Zebulon, and uh, Junior and Shion in the Asher. In terms of equipment, I have Zebulon with the Auxiliary Armor, uh, G Poison Guard, and Toon Circuit. But what's really important is what I have on the Asher here. The Asher has Auxiliary Armor B, uh, the E Max 300, that is going to be important, and the G Poison Guard, that E Max 300. That is vital for what I'm about to do uh, because. The Emax 300 allows me to have an EP of 300, which allows me to unleash the Odin Buster. I could also have Chaos in here, uh, and the Odin Buster will be available to me. I am going to make extensive use of the Odin Buster here. Still nervous, but we're going to move on with what I got. How you doing, buddy? It's boss time. We're up against the Scarab Bile. Scarab Beal? I don't know. Either way, first off, uh, we need to move one of my characters to the other side. That'll make things a little bit easier. Oh, Scarab Beal is surprised by the visitors. Uh, yeah, they, they give you a little bit of time here to just kind of warm up. Uh, what you should do if you have it, but I do not believe that I do, is use Quick. Yeah, no quick for me. Uh, boost would also be good around here, but uh, don't have it. So we're, we're pretty much going to have a strategy here of stock, 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 stock. <laughs> uh, we could also cast a boost. I, I don't really feel the need for that just yet. Just try to get everybody up to uh, max EP, or sorry, EC here. And then... Uh, Actually, let's go ahead and use your Ice Rondo on the back of this guy here. Let's see how this does. Ice, Ice Rondo. Rondo! Not too great, actually. Scarabale bows to the visitors. That is new. Um, usually I want to do it in the back, but uh, we'll just go ahead and use the Odin Buster up front because I got a critical anyway. As you can see, tons of health on this guy. But I can do a lot of damage with that Odin Buster. And then we're just pretty much going to rinse and repeat. And that's going to be the strategy. Hey, he finally does go for the attack here. Not too much damage to start. To start. But just like all bosses, he gets quite upset when he's low on health. So we're going to try to avoid that as much as we can. Luckily, when we stop, it does raise our evasion so when we stalk there's a good chance that he's not going to hit us at all uh yeah we'll do another ice round though i mean what, what's the point of not doing it ice <laughs> it does not do very much damage <laughs> even with a back it just does not matter stop hitting him uh-oh what is that 
Wait, what, what, what did he put on there? Press L? What did, yeah, it's an L. So we're, we're going to get rid of that. I believe that is poison. And I definitely want to cure it. It doesn't matter that I have the thing to help prevent it. It doesn't prevent it entirely. Thank you! Going the right way. Don't get another turn. Oh, well, you did, but it's fine. And you got a critical. Fantastic. All right, we'll, we'll just go for a Medica 2 now. We'll try to stay on the safe side here. Just try to keep our HP up. 